As we reported yesterday, all five officers charged in Nichols' death were part of a specialized anti-crime unit. So we asked our senior investigative correspondent, Catherine Herridge, to look at how these controversial task forces have become part of big city policing. The Memphis Police Department's Scorpion Unit was intended to be an elite specialized unit in response to the city's high violent crime and homicide rate. But the five Memphis police officers charged in Tyree Nichols' death were new to the force. And a former Memphis police officer tells CBS News the Scorpion Unit training consisted of just three days of PowerPoint presentations, one day of suspect apprehension training, and one day at the firing range. The department did not immediately respond to CBS News's questions. These units uh, require significant supervision, something that was apparently missing in the Scorpion unit. Former NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton says there appear to be many missteps. You want more seasoned officers, three, four, five, six years on the job so you can look at their track record and you want to select them carefully. And then, most importantly, training, training, and training. And that is the Achilles heel of American police forces in every area of responsibility. While there is no official data on the number of anti-crime units nationwide, similar issues have plagued police departments in other major cities. Atlanta Police's anti-drug unit known as Red Dog was shut down in 2011 after officers were accused of using excessive force during a traffic stop and a raid on a gay bar. And Baltimore's Gun Trace Task Force, seen here in this body camera video, was disbanded after eight officers were convicted of racketeering and extortion. Memphis, unfortunately, is dealing with a perfect storm that American policing is dealing with uh, in various uh, uh, amounts around the country. After the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Bratton says senior officers left policing and departments are desperate for recruits. At this time in the crisis in American policing, you actually want to raise the standards, not lower them. And uh, so everything that could go wrong seems to have gone wrong in this circumstance. For CBS Mornings, Catherine Herridge, Washington.